<coughs> you okay? It says there's a gem, but I've checked the paper about nine times. I swear there's nothing in there. Here, let me see. There, it's done. Oh, great. What did you do? I put paper in it. Oh, thank you so much. You're a star. So I met a medium at the weekend. My mate's been banging on about it for ages. So I just thought, fuck it, you know? <laughs> Turns out I was Jesus in a previous life. What? Yeah, I know. I was skeptical at first too, but this woman really knows her shit. Plus, a lot of it makes sense. My mum says when I was small, I was always trying to walk on water. Plus one time in the backyard in our paddling pool, she's pretty sure I took two steps before sinking. That was the time I almost drowned. Okay. Yeah, apparently I was dead for a full 25 minutes and then someone offered me a bourbon and I just woke up. <laughs> Amazing, right? Well, I don't know, I mean kids and biscuits. Biscuits? But no, it's not about biscuits. It's about something holy that took place in my backyard. <laughs> you not being able to swim when you were three sounds pretty normal to me. <laughs> Stop interrupting. If I want you to speak, I'll ask you a question. There was also the time, when I was five, that I tried to sacrifice myself to the crocs at Australia Zoo. I remember it quite clearly. It was Easter. I'd just broken up some bread and, and was throwing it to the crocs. Crocodiles don't eat bread. Right? And I said something like, this is my bread that I'm giving to you. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but it's basically the Last Supper, isn't it? Is it? And then I realised, <laughs> It's not my bread they want, it's my body. Did the crocodile or the baguette tell you this? So I scaled the wall of the enclosure, ready to relinquish my body so that others can live. But <laughs> when I went to jump in, I fell backwards into a bin. <laughs> Still though, at that age, to have that instinct, to, to want to give myself up, I mean, it's pretty amazing, right? Or insane? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I think even at that early age, I knew there was something a bit special about me. No chance, you were just a bit self-important. No way, my mum always called me her little miracle. I mean, I just thought it was because she was infertile, but I didn't think that I actually was Jesus. I mean, that'd be pretty arrogant, don't you think? I don't know what I think at this point. I think this explains why I slept with so many boys as a teenager. Maybe you were just a slut. No, I had a need to spread my love around in whatever way I could. Yeah, probably through lots of STDs. Well, some, I'm sure, but only the ones that were meant to be spread. What? Well, I think there's a reason for everything, don't you? Anyway, I'm, I'm done here. I just wanted to explain the whole Jesus thing. My medium said I'd have quite a strong Jesus aura over the next few days, so I didn't want you to be alarmed. <laughs> Can you see it? See what? My Jesus aura. It's green. Actually, no. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe it's a lighting in here. Anyway, if anyone actually asks about my aura, just say something spiritual. Don't actually go into details about me being Jesus. I don't want people feeling intimidated. Right. I'm um, Katie, by the way. It's weird that you couldn't fix the copier, though, isn't it, Katie? What? Being Jesus. Well, Jesus didn't have HP copiers. Fuck wit.